Biodiversity and Classification Our planet is full of life. From tiny microorganisms to giant trees and animals. But how do we study such an enormous variety of living things? Scientists use classification systems to group organisms and make study easier. Today, let's learn about biodiversity, its importance, and how classification helps us understand life better. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity is the variety of living organisms, including plants, animals, fungi, and microorganisms. Why is biodiversity important? It provides food, medicines, raw materials, maintains ecological balance, and supports life systems. What is classification? Classification is the process of grouping organisms based on similarities and differences. Who introduced binomial nomenclature? Carl Linnaeus. Give an example of binomial nomenclature. Homo sapiens, human. Mangifera indica, mango. What is the basic unit of classification? Species. Write the hierarchy of classification in order. Kingdom, phylum or division, class, order, family, genus, species. What are endemic species? Give an example. Endemic species are restricted to a particular region. Example, kangaroo, Australia. What are endangered species? Give an example. Species at risk of extinction are endangered species. Example, tiger. What are extinct species? Give an example. Species that no longer exist are extinct species. Example, dodo. What are the main threats to biodiversity? Deforestation, hunting, pollution, climate change, and habitat destruction. Mention two methods of biodiversity conservation. In situ conservation like national parks, wildlife sanctuaries. Ex situ conservation like zoos, seed banks, botanical gardens. Biodiversity is the richness of life on Earth. Classification helps us organize and study this diversity. Binomial nomenclature provides scientific names, and conservation ensures species survive for the future. Protecting biodiversity is protecting life itself.